Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel, I am Garrett. And in this video, we are talking about 10 exterior home trends that I love and hate. Now, before we get into the video, if you are planning on making any changes to the exterior of your home, be sure you check with your HOA and laws in your area. I also always recommend you work with a contractor on any major project in your home. Now, we've got a lot to get through, so let's get into the video. Now, the first exterior home trend we have to address is cookie cutter homes. Where I live especially, we love an HOA and every home in the HOA looks exactly the same because the builder built it exactly the same and they're all the same color scheme, the same plants, everything. You don't want your home to be cookie cutter, especially if you are living in a neighborhood that is full of homes that actually have character, that are individual. That's something really beautiful that should definitely be respected, but right now we are living in a time where everybody is loving the all white house. Everybody's painting every house white and it can look a little cookie cutter when everyone is changing their home to look exactly the same, to be in, to be current, to be on trend. Consider if you are looking to pick an exterior color, you're changing it up, you're renovating, to look for something outside of the box that people aren't doing. Maybe it doesn't have to be a sore thumb in the neighborhood, but be a little bit different and don't fall into that trap of like, this is the trendiest, latest thing. And I'm not saying don't have what you want and you love for your home, but look at doing it in a different way. If you really love that all white home exterior, maybe you contrast it with black, maybe you contrast it with some natural wood, or maybe you even mix up the landscaping a little bit, obviously in keeping with whatever your neighborhood, your HOA, or the laws in your community state, but be a little bit different, have some individuality, some personality to a home. Now the next exterior home trend that you all don't like, and I have, feelings about that we will talk about is painting brick. Now I love a red brick house. I bought a red brick house because it was red brick and I love that. I love the character. I love how different that is in my neighborhood. But if you're living in a neighborhood full of red brick homes, maybe you want something different and you're considering painting. In my personal opinion, there are some red brick homes that you can definitely paint because it's not important. It doesn't have history and it's just red brick. If it's built in the 80s or 90s, there's probably not a real reason for you not to paint the brick. I'm just gonna be honest and say that. Maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but if it's something historic, if it's a beautiful old home, if it's from the 20s or the 40s, don't paint the brick. It's not gonna add to anything that's happening. It might make your house stand out, but it's probably not gonna be for the right reasons. In addition to that, painting brick does not always have a great longevity because it tends to not age very well. I think something that looks great on a red brick home is to contrast it with some beautiful accents, paint the trim a bright, fresh, crisp white to really pop and stand out. That always looks great. It has a traditional feeling to it and it definitely doesn't look like something out of the box like what we're seeing happen across a lot of neighborhoods in the world right now. People are just not the biggest fan of a red brick house and I get that, but maybe you should leave that red brick house to someone that actually enjoys it. Now the next exterior home trend we are talking about is the modern farmhouse. I like a modern farmhouse, but I also don't like it because I see it so much that it's very kind of overplayed to me. I just am tired of it. I'm ready for something different. The all white and black modern farmhouse look, aesthetic, and vibe, which tends to not really look like a farmhouse at all. It looks like a cottage meets colonial, which can be interesting, but it can also look a little bit bland when everything is done the same way. The modern farmhouse is definitely very popular, so we see neighborhoods kind of being filled up with them, and it can get old pretty quick. Definitely consider mixing it up a little bit. It does get overdone and we see a lot of it on social media and we're seeing a lot of it just in houses around everywhere because it's very popular, which is a good thing and a bad thing. And it's one of those trends that has kind of taken it to the extreme. It's on the edge of being too much and starting to look dated. So consider updating, mixing it up, bringing some personality into the modern farmhouse because it can be a little bit bland, a little bit boring to just see an all white modern farmhouse on every street, everywhere you go. And that's the thing about me. I love 
personality. I love individuality. I think that's what makes a home timeless. I think that's what makes it elegant and not trendy, which is why you need to join the Le Chic family and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. I also would love if you hit that subscribe button and then let me know you joined the Le Chic family in the comment section down below so I can personally welcome you. Now, the next trend that we're talking about, the exterior home trend I love is black windows and doors. I think this is great because I love contrast. I love something that's bold. I love something that stands out and this is so beautiful. I think it looks great on traditional homes and I also really love the steel windows and doors you see on more modern homes because I just think they have such a grounding element. They give so much contrast to a space and they stand out. They pop for a really good reason. I also really love a high gloss finished black front door. I think that stands out. I think it pops in such a great way. Way. And I love tying that in with windows on the exterior of a home as well. I think it's so beautiful, definitely elegant, timeless, sophisticated, and it's a throwback. So if you have a very traditional style home, like if you have a colonial and you're like, Garrett, I want to mix it up. Should I paint the brick white? No, paint the windows black, paint the trim a bright, fresh white, and it'll really pop and stand out because it's a beautiful contrast. You're layering all of these colors together, two neutrals, black and white, and that red brick is gorgeous. It's timeless, but it's still very fresh, which I think is so great. I think there's not many things or items, design ideas you can do that encompass both of those things. And black windows and doors are definitely one of those things. The next exterior home trend that I think is a really great idea and option beautiful is a three-toned house. The three-toned house is really great for more modern homes, for renovations, to update things like ranches or split levels, and those really contemporary structures. I like a three-toned home that is like a white and black with a natural wood tone. I think it's great to mix cream and blue and white together. There's a lot of classic colors you can mix together in three tones that make your home stand out. I think sticking to some classics, mixing a more vibrant color with a neutral or a natural element can really elevate a home. Even if that's a natural stone or a tan brick, mixing some other colors in with that will make that feel a little bit more updated even if it's starting to feel a little bit aged, a little bit dated, you'll always have one color that's very in, that's very current and very fresh to uplift the others. It's a great way to elevate your home, get something that looks and feels current at all times and never goes dated. And it's also a great way to mix some materials together. You can do brick and stone, you can do stucco and a siding material all in one. That's really great. You can save some money, you get something that's a little bit more interesting, cultivated, unique, and you also have the opportunity to make your home stand out in a really great way. Now the next exterior home trend that I love, I'm literally obsessed with, I can't get enough of, and I wish I saw it everywhere, are the pavers and grass. You know what I'm talking about, the grid design, I eat that up every time I see it. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's concrete and grass, if it's pavers, if it's a limestone, travertine, whatever and grass, I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. This is great for a number of reasons. One, because I love a pattern, I love visual interest, I love a mix of materials, and this gives you that. You're mixing materials, which is also very tactile. I like this, I think it looks very modern when done in a very large scale. You do a concrete slab surrounded by the grass, and I think it looks more traditional when you do it on a smaller scale, like a 12 by 12 patio tile mixed with the grass. Gorgeous, I love it, it's fantastic. I love it for everything. I love it for a patio, I love it for a pool deck, I love it for a walkway. Gorgeous, fantastic, I love it. And this is also something you could take over existing concrete and you could save a little bit of money. I love that too. The next yep. exterior home trend that I am loving at the moment are private patios and balconies. I love this. I love privacy and I think it's really beautiful when you have these little patios because you're also getting a vista, something to look out onto that you can then bring inside. And you can bring the outdoors in, the inside outside, the inside inside, and the indoors out and the outdoors in. I had to think about that for a minute, but I love that. I think it's really beautiful because you can also create a lot of character. You can create a very lifestyle oriented space. Put a little table, a little patio set with chairs and you can sit out there and have your lunch, have a coffee, have some breakfast. Ugh. 
adorable. I love these. I think they're really beautiful. And you can incorporate this if you have a very small outdoor space, if you have a little balcony, if you have a little patio, because not everybody has giant massive yards that you could put big pools in. Some people just have a little patio and this is really great for there. And the next exterior home trend that I'm loving at the moment is one we haven't seen for a while and that is flowering trees and plants. I just need this for my serotonin levels, you guys. I just love to see a gorgeous floral moment. I love color when I first walk up to a home, even my home. I have this really beautiful tree that has these yellow flowers on it. I absolutely adore it, and it just makes me happy seeing that. For a long time, or a long while, we were seeing people mixing evergreen plants and just a different layering of greens, which I also really think is pretty, but I need to see a tree with flowers or something on it. And I know it creates a mess when the petals fall, but it's also a beautiful mess. And it's definitely something that elevates the home and elevates the space when you have this gorgeous flowering tree outside. You're also looking out at your window at that, which is really beautiful. I wanna see that tree and the flowering plants. I wanna see all of the flowers on the ground. I love that, I think it's beautiful. I love a flowering plant because it's character, it's personality. And I think you can do so much to a home to update it with just a little bit of landscaping. I think that can make a big difference before you go painting brick or doing something crazy, reciting a house, because that's very expensive. But just a couple of trees and plants, it might not be inexpensive, but it's definitely not as expensive as redoing the entire exterior of your home. The next exterior home trend that I love, but I also kind of hate, are bluestone and limestone patios. I like bluestone because it's a unique material. It's beautiful. It is a trend right now. And what we're seeing is people are sifting through it so they only have blue stones. Because blue stone patios have blue and brown with them. And the brown can almost have that kind of rust-like look that people don't like. So it creates a lot of waste, which I don't really love. I specifically like bluestone patios when it's kind of a flagstone and natural shape. I think that's really beautiful. I also really like flagstone. Limestone, on the other hand, I think is really gorgeous. You know I love those warmer tones, especially on a floor. There you get that rustic but beautiful look and feel. It's very textured but easy to maintain. It can be power washed. It can be just swept clean, hose down. I think that's really beautiful. Not a high maintenance stone, but really gorgeous and definitely something that is classic and timeless that will elevate a patio space or anything like it. I also never recommend getting any sort of outdoor surface patio, anything like that, that has to be sealed. That's very expensive, has to be done on a regular basis, very high maintenance, and I just don't like it. I don't even like tinted concrete that needs to be sealed. I just think it looks honestly a little bit dated. It's very high maintenance and I would never do it. So if you're looking for an outdoor material, look for something that is extremely durable, hard wearing, and does not need a lot of maintenance to it. You probably won't use that patio as much as you think you will if you have to be constantly maintaining it. Now the next exterior home trend we're talking about are the infinity edge pools. I'm not, a lover or a hater of infinity edge pools, I just think they need to be used in the appropriate place. If you have a yard that is really sloped or you have a really gorgeous view, an infinity edge pool is great and I definitely think you should have one. Especially if you have a sloped yard like that, I'm kind of expecting it because it makes sense with the actual structure and how you would build that. But I feel like people really want an infinity edge pool when they really don't need one and they're kind of doing everything possible to get that built into their yard. It can be very expensive and yeah, you will get something that's visually interesting, but it might not be as interesting or get you the biggest bang for your buck that you think it's going to. There's nothing wrong with just a flat, normal pool. As a matter of fact, what really gets me and what I really love the most are pools that are slightly raised, like maybe two feet from the ground because you get a ledge to sit on. They can be really beautiful, but you wanna make sure the design fits the overall style of your home, the overall style of the yard, and the usability. You don't wanna have some giant massive pool that takes up the entire yard when you don't have a big yard to begin with. Consider what works the best for you, for the patio, for the outdoor space, and the usability, and if it's worth it for you or not. If it's something you're gonna have to close up for quite a few months of the year, 
it might not be worth having. It might not be worth that expense or that headache. So definitely consider whether a pool is right for you or not. And if you are prepared for the maintenance of taking care of that, especially if it's an infinity edge pool, I don't think you have to have one. I think you can have just a normal pool in the ground that does the same thing. That's actually more elegant and a little bit more timeless. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below, because I want to hear from you. What is one exterior home trend that you see going all over the place in your neighborhood that you're sick of. And you're like, Garrett, I don't even get it. It doesn't make sense where we live. Share what that is with me down below. I wanna hear from you and be sure you give this video a like. I also know that you know someone that, oh, they are undertaking a renovation. They're redoing their exterior of their home and it's a mess. They're diving into every one of these trends and you're like, honey, this is gonna be dated in two years and you're gonna be complaining and coming to me for design advice and I can't do it. Share this video with them because friends help friends and I will see you in the next one.